You might consider that. Nah. What has to be dealt with just to be normal? Just to be normal, to be normal functioning like everybody else. But you're talking all this stuff, come on, mighty man, let's see what you got, let's see what you're working with. Be walking around ready to go to the crazy house. <laughs> or somewhere, maybe, who knows where you're gonna go. With all the side effects that this, these medication causes, listen. Deuteronomy 32, 21, they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. Because all the gods of the nation are what? Idols, following what they have said. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Think some, 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 some of you thinking, your thinking is, 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 like I say, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion that overthrew their judgment. Vanities, he said. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with the foolish nation. Hear that? And that's where we're at right now. A people that's a no people and a foolish nation. Foolish nation. They don't even care about their own. Now. That's why we got to go deep. into knowing this most, this most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because he said, I kill and I make a lie. He said, I wound and I heal. So who is it going to get you out of the hand of the most high? Since you know the, the verdict of the most high, what is his verdict? What's the verdict of the Most High? Hmm? Who knows that? I'm listening. Who knows the verdict of the Most High? The judgment of the Most High upon any of us? No one. That's why I say we as individuals have to give our life to the Most High. Why am I saying I cover shy? By some of myself cover shy. To be saved. To make it through these times that we're dealing with now. Some gonna be taken out of here. They don't have to deal with the things that's gonna go down on this earth. And be raised up. When the Masha Kavashai come part of the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. Everybody ain't gonna be here. We don't know, it might be better for them, it says. Because they're not gonna have to go through the tribulation, all the things that we're going through and, and gonna see in our time. It's the most high. Who knows the mind of the most high? Hmm? Nobody. So all we can do is look at getting closer and closer to him. As we get closer and closer and exalt him, exalt him, exalt him, he love to be exalted. His name is jealous. So what you, what you think he'd be jealous of? What do you think he's gonna be jealous of? He just told us. Y'all ain't hear him? Y'all hear him? He just told him this. Look, y'all sitting around looking at him. Oh, he just said what he just <laughs> Look, he just told us what he jealous of. And y'all sitting around, I'm asking the question. I'm asking it. It's almost like you ain't hearing what he said. You hear what he said? They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. Did y'all hear it? Come on. I'm asking you. What have we done to make the most out of jealous? Serve idols? Yeah. Serve idolatry. And behind us doing that, as it is this day, so they have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Remember it said many are deceived by their own what? Vain, Vain opinion. And an evil suspicion is overthrown the judgment. So when you have a, a worthless opinion, 
how you feel, how you understand, then evil comes in and makes you bring forth an evil judgment. Not a righteous judgment, but an evil judgment because you're dealing with demons. Straight up. How you gonna get an evil judgment if you ain't dealing with demons? That's the way it is. He said, I will move them to jealousy, since you made the most high jealous. I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. That's these heathen nations. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. That's what we under, a foolish nation. That's what we under, a foolish nation. Esau, foolish. But he ain't got, but he ain't, he ain't the foolish to the point of how he won't experiment with us and been experimenting with us. And you know but guinea pigs. But what you gonna do? Continue to be a guinea pig? Or you gonna trust in the most high? Because I mean, look, I know so many people that they have trusted in them and they've been let down. They've been let down. Be careful when y'all have to deal with these physicians there nowadays because, look, y'all know what the scripture says, right? I hope you remember the scripture. I remember it. That's why I, I'll be aware. Revelation 12 and 17, we have been here. And the dragon, who was the serpent, who was the devil, who was Satan, who was Esau, was wrong with the woman, with Israel and went to make war with the remnant of our seas. Y'all realize we, we, had a, we in a war? Went to make war with the remnant of the Israelites. We the Israelites. Which keep the commandments, that ain't the ones in the churches that we talked about all day. Cause we keeping the commandments as Hebrew Israelites. We learning the commandments and learning to live and apply in our life. Keep the commandments and of the most high. And have a testimony of a Mashiach I was shot. That's why I said, it make you, you should be afraid to be dealing with these people unless you think they are all. In the spirit, remember the spirit gonna try, go, go, go bear witness with the spirit. Their spirit of evil gonna bear witness with your spirit of righteousness. Keep the commandments of the most high. And you ain't nothing but a guinea pig. You ain't understand, y'all know what that, I'm saying, right? You are someone they can experiment with. That's why now they make you sign these old papers arbitrary. You got to go to arbitrary, but you can't sue the doctor like we used to could. You got to go to arbitrary and all that. Because they experiment. They're practicing medicine on us. And here we are. Thinking, okay, well, they're on our side. Because some of you still is religified, I think. And y'all think, oh, I know the most I'm gonna make them do whatever they're supposed to do right. When you ain't use the wisdom that he's given you in the scriptures. Knowing that they you knowing that they gotta, that's why I told you in Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So last I read in 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So what you think, they're gonna allow you as an Israelite to just escape through without any repercussions? You think it's gonna be an easy, they're gonna let you just escape through? The only way you're gonna go through, if you fulfill what is written, and pleasing the most high. You gotta please the most high. 
you don't please the most high, and I don't know what to tell you. Your enemy's gonna be at war with you. You know what I mean? They coming against the remnant. They, that's what it said, they coming against the remnant. And that's us, we that know this truth. That's why it's, it's hard when you, you have to be in their hands and under their authority. Look at uh, Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Most High, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Just what we want. That's what I say, it's spiritual. When a man's ways please the Most High, he maketh even his enemies. Not enemy, but enemies to be at peace with him. Verse 4. The Most High have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. See, they doing what they're supposed to do. He made the wicked for the day of evil. So who's going to follow righteousness? Who's going to follow Wickedness. You're going to choose life or death. The right way or you're going to kill you. Death. That's the only choice we have. Life or death. You're going to receive eternal life or you're going to be thrown in a lake of fire where the worms never die and the fires never quench. Are there any other questions, comments? We gotta have faith first and foremost too. We gotta believe in this. This ain't something that you just regurgitate off the top of your dome and you don't really have faith in believing in this. You gotta have faith. So you have faith in the doctor, but you don't have you don't, you don't have faith in the most high, but you can have faith in a doctor. With your faith and it highly exalted to the most high. And your hands in his doctor's hand. And he's sitting back saying, Oh, we got one here. Well, it's gotta be in the most high. Are there any other questions or comments? Well, look at, uh, I'll just go to the side, they don't want to listen no more. <laughs> Psalm 95 and 10. He that chasteneth the heathen shall not he correct. He that teaches man knowledge shall not he know. Can you know the most I know it, the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. See? Blessed, though, is the man whom thou chastenest, O Most High, and teaches him out of thy law. 
But see, you think the chastisement of the most high is punishment. You see? But it said, blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O most high, and teaches him out of thy law, out of your law. It's the laws of the most high. That thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity. Until the pit be dig for the wicked. That's what we want. We want, we want this rest from the days of adversity. This day of evil. Until the pit be dig for the wicked. For the most high will not cast off his people. Neither will he forsake his inheritance. See? But that's only those that's going to trust in him. I said, verse 16, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to rise up for the Most High against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? I don't care who it is. Evildoers come within all nations. Works of iniquity come within all nations. You see? But we know the main evildoers are those that's controlling this world right now. The main workers of iniquity are those that have control of this world right now. You say, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to do it? The answer is in Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness in the face of such as have afflicted but made no account of his labors. That's the righteous man going to stand in the face of such have afflicted us and made no account of our labors. We worked and built this place in the sweat of our backs for over 400 years and still paying tribute. If you work, you ain't nothing but a slave. And before we was able to get paid, we worked for free. You understand? So a righteous man gonna stand in great boldness in the faces of the afflicted us and made no account of our labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. See? That's why we gotta be bold and have no fear of the wicked in the day of evil and representing the righteousness of the Most High. But you gotta be righteous. You gotta be obedient. See? And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, that's what they gonna say. Shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes a derision and a proverb of reproach, a proverb of disgrace, all the different names that they call us, and we've been known by. And still to this day, don't want to have anything to do with you, period. When well, you can't come around them. They got places right now, you ride, you ride through their city, so they gonna have shotguns and all kind of weapons. You ain't coming up in here. I forgot the name of it, but it's down south. You ain't stopping there. A town full of incest. Straight up. They don't want you there. You ain't stopping there. You ain't dealing with you. They ain't period. They ain't dealing with you. A proverb of reproach. You still are called by all these disgraceful names. We fools account of this life madness. 
See? And his end to be without honor.